everyone wants to look younger than their years. We all search near and far for that quick fix. But what if the secret to youth could be found in the aisles of your local supermarket? Joey, are you suggesting in your book, The Natural Makeover Diet, that you can actually influence the way you look by the foods you eat? Definitely, and what I'm trying to tell people is if you cleanse and if you feed your body the right things, fruits, vegetables, essential fats, you can change your skin, your weight, the way you look, the way you feel. What are the top five foods that you need to have in your diet? There's more than five, of course, but if I were to pick top five, blueberries, rated number one antioxidant, um, tomatoes, fantastic, contain lycopene, wonderful for anti-cancer prevention, fantastic for skin. One, two, three, workforce! Start off with a push-up. You're going to be teaching this to their clients, so you have to be able to do it yourself. Okay. Okay, so this is a push-up. Make sure you breathe, bring your chest right down to the bar, looking at the ground, and keep that stomach tight. Okay. Show me what you can do. All right. Is there any okay. specific place I'm supposed to put my feet, or that's okay? Just somewhere where you're comfortable, that looks about a good distance, okay. and bring your hands a little bit wider. Okay. Okay, remember, no pain, no gain. <laughs> okay. Okay, show me what you can do. Fantastic, <laughs> nice. All right, now we're gonna do a squat against a stability ball. Okay. So, remembering our posture, keep your chest up, your abs are tight. Okay. Okay, and breathing. Show me what you can do. Okay. We're gonna do 15 squats. <laughs> what are some of the misconceptions about being a personal trainer? Well, the obvious one is steroid use amongst the trainers. You used to think that you'd walk into a gym and your trainer would be some big muscle guy who was gonna break you in half, you know, <laughs> during the workout. Uh, but now it's more a trend towards the active lifestyle. How are your legs feeling? I'm feeling the burn. I was at a school last year and I got kicked out like five million times. I beat a guy pretty bad, so they kicked me out of school for that. Usually when I go to school, I really hate like one teachers, but I hated this teacher and she just like really pissed me off and stuff. When students get into trouble again and again, the schools have little recourse but to suspend them. And now with the new zero tolerance policy, violent students could be kicked out for good. But in the Ottawa School Board, there's a special place where students can go when the regular system has given up on them. It's called first place. And for many, it's their last chance. Welcome to the morning. There is light before noon. There are no bars or locks at first place school. In fact, just the opposite. The school is laid back, run in this Ottawa home. The dining room serves as the homeroom, where the entire school gathers each morning. The atmosphere is definitely not threatening. But behind some of these happy faces are some very troubled teens. The students are at first place because of fighting, skipping school, and vandalism. If I get into a fight with my mother, like the other day, she hit me with the phone because I wouldn't get <laughs> off. <laughs> and I started to like, you know, fight her and stuff. It's not a good thing to fight with your parents, but. At home, I yell and scream and I'll bitch and I'll throw temper tantrums and I'll just be the biggest baby you've ever met. I start yelling just like Michelle and, uh, and my mom will start throwing stuff and so I throw stuff back at her. <laughs> well, at home, when my mom like yells and stuff, I'll just like get her back somehow. How somehow? Like. Like, I'll put something in her food, so she like... Revenge, good old revenge, okay? Yeah. It's like a normal thing now. It's like an everyday routine. What, a fight? A fight is an everyday routine? No, me getting beat up now from my brother is like an everyday routine or something. I got a short fuse, and when that goes off, like, I take it right to your face. Rosacea is something where it can make you look sunburned all the time or embarrassed. Therefore, people are constantly asking me, did you go away or are you sunburned, of that, things of that nature. Hi, Rosie. So we're all ready to get started with your intense pulse light treatment for your flushing and rosacea. And what we're hoping to do is to diminish some of that redness that you have.
So Rosie, are you excited about your treatment? Yes. It's going to be great. As Dr. Bertucci mentioned, today we're targeting the reds in your face. This um, intense pulse light machine can target browns from sun damage okay. and red vessels from uh, rosacea and other sort of red skin conditions. But today, we've set the machine for your rosacea. Feels like hot elastic bands snapping on your face, but it's not that uncomfortable. Just for a quick second. My right hand was badly damaged, my lower leg had been completely blown off. Chris Moon's courageous recovery from a landmine explosion taught him a lot about himself and the power of the human spirit. Now he's determined to teach others about the terrible effects of landmines in hopes that someday they can be eliminated from the planet. The only reason things have ever got better throughout history is because people have actively stood up and said, yes, this is wrong and we can make it better. We will make it better. It's not just harming um, the, the other side, which is bad enough, but it's harming the you know, civilians that live afterwards, and I think that, that's inhumane, basically.